in the cool, in the dark, in the odd baroque. Sunburnt russets decomposing in the long grass. The moment of excess, what the ritual once was, the foreign language of it. He opens his eyes. Light carves out a heart shaped, but not anatomically exact, exit. And there he was, his arm swelling like an elephant's foot, red blood oozing from it. She howled silently, scolded him, pitied him, pitied herself. There's a bubble inside her, like a balloon, about that big. A child's multicoloured balloon. But not a balloon, a bubble, right in the centre of her body, somewhere between womb and stomach. We're not alone, after all. Pageant, Geist, Cappuccino, Olympus, Swift Alouette, Ranger, Odyssey, Firestorm, Senator California, Senator Indiana, Zenith Sport, Caravans. She opened her eyes. Do you see the walls of the prison, stone flanks pressed by a thousand desperate hands? Do you see? Do you open your eyes? Do you sleep in one place or another? Do you feel the hours rushing through you, the ebbing of life in the pit that yawns blank and unfathomable at the end of days, the pit that awaits beyond the cornfield, the city streets and the shops, and with the lights that go off, past the music and the other places, the ones they don't tell you about, the part of you that is here and the part that is hidden? Do you see? She could not sleep. She rose from the bed. She opened the door, her hand on the cold glass. She walked outside. When she was younger, she used to walk through the cornfields beyond the house in the whisper of the summer wind, watching the faint white trail scratch against the crystal blue sky. And she always knew she was not this one, not this person, because there was always another inside and elsewhere, always. And she closed her eyes.